Gotta love being a dumpster guy. Can't make this stuff up, guys. Besides the fact that this dumpster is insanely full. Um, the only problem is, of course, the guy who lives in this rental is now gone, disappeared, and I know the park owner. So I'm not gonna just absolutely dump it in the street as much as I really want to. But here's where you just can't make this stuff up. He Tetris this whole thing, all like 10 mattresses, all this other BS into this dumpster. But he missed one thing. He just couldn't get that one last thing in the dumpster. And this is it. I can't make this up. But he couldn't get that all the way in. Come on, man. That one might just fall off on the way there. I ain't touching it. 50 bucks if you come lick it, though. All right, now that we took care of that hazardous waste issue, uh, we need to get on to the project of the day, which I'm super pumped for. We're going to hire Coda here, Coda the Kubota, and we are going to go ahead and tear down a garage. Super pumped for it. Uh, as you can see, we've already got the grapple hooked up, so we are going to go ahead and head that way. Uh, Keegan, my driver, is actually going to meet us over there. He's actually dropping off my only 20s that I had set aside for this because uh, all of a sudden I got a couple requests for him. So now we're without those. So we're going to get creative with how we get rid of uh, this garage or at least start to. So we're going to head down the road, go get this garage taken care of. All right, so here's what we got. This thing's pretty rough on the outside. Um, the bummer is there's not as much space as maybe camera makes it look like there is here. I'd say maybe we got eight to nine feet right here, but clearly the roof line's taller, plus you got the roof itself. And so if this was to want to come down this way, I mean straight left to, you know, or right to left or whatever, depending on which way you're looking at it, it would definitely hit this corner. And I don't want that. It's literally the only thing I don't want to happen. Um, the inside of it's pretty rough, uh, but oh, there's not much to it. It looks like it's literally just that really cheap siding and then that that's it the only other thing I want to double check is electricity well it's supposed to be disconnected so I want to make sure that might literally just be run to the tree right there and then it stops because that's what's supposed to be we want to make sure there is literally no electricity run to this and yep like they said it's already been cut so we took care of that so we're good it's hard to tell too, but the garage itself is actually cattywampus. So it's already starting to kind of lean back in that way. So what we want to do is we want to change that and pull it towards the alley. That's pretty much our safest bet is the, they said they're not super worried. There's a fence over there. They're not super worried about it because that is abandoned, that um, house over there. But we still don't want to take it out. I'm still 100% worried about this. So what our, we're probably going to do is we're going to cut all of, you know, the frame down below on both sides and basically the only thing to be holding this thing up is the frame on both sides there and on the back and then we will basically push with the skidster probably that way and then pull with the truck so we'll see what if that's actually the plan that happens We are going to meticulously take this thing apart piece by piece without causing any destruction at all. Our goal is the least amount of destruction possible.
now we're gonna get the trailer down there, five nine lined up, so that we can basically. I don't want to tear up this dude's grass any more than I have to. The only reason the trailer was there to basically make sure it didn't hit the place, which it did exactly what it was supposed to. So we're going to kind of use this very small space here to load the flatbed as much as we can with the long pieces. And then we're going to fill a bunch of debris into the small 14 yard. And then we'll probably just have to make multiple trips the next couple days uh, until I get a 20. So it is what it is. It's kind of funny. My dad drove by and saw Keegan moving uh, one of the trucks around. He had making sure we didn't die he's getting back in his car gotta love it brian identity i don't know he saw the truck and he's like what are they doing over there now we're actually dragging the roof which we ended up in in one piece and we're gonna pull it level with the flatbed and then we're gonna winch it on in one big piece hopefully we'll see if we can actually make that work but not sure uh how well it'll work but if we can get most of it on there that'd be awesome Right now, it's kind of turning out.
turn out better than I thought. So took a little Sammy break. Got a sandwich that Keegan's grandma even brought us. It was very nice of her. But I mean, that's pretty much all we got left. We're gonna have to come back with some uh, shovels and brooms to do some cleanup. But we got some big pieces here that we'll throw onto the trailer. Some debris right there. I'm trying to stay, like I said, out of that guy's uh, property line as much as possible. But we still have room in the dumpster. And this is the 14 yard dumpster. I did not think that we would be able to make that work, but I think we got some room. There's actually a lot of room up front. I've just kind of, that's as far as the bucket would reach. Uh, so I'll probably start going into the alley a little bit and tossing it into the front of there. But this tore down pretty quick. The thing I really like about these grapple buckets is you're not pulling in a whole lot of dirt when you're scraping the bottom. Since these, uh, they have these grooves in them, all that dirt kind of falls out. So you're not loading you know, unnecessary weight. So cool thing is we'll get that thing strapped. We'll get it all uh, strapped down. We'll probably even tarp it since there's shingles and stuff at the bottom. I don't want those blown around, but once we have that loaded, we have that loaded, it'll be two trips. That's it. One with one truck, one with the other. And that'll be all she wrote. Easy job. I wish this was my yard and I could just take the skid steer and just dig it all up. That'd be nice to the yard. cleaned off every piece last scoop last bit of wood all right that's all she wrote we're gonna get the last couple straps on here and we'll tarp it later but we'll get the straps ready to go we're just doing the last of the brushing 
cleaned up some of the dirt. Keegan, what do you think? It took us, what, five hours? Five hours, top. Five hours, and we took our time on it, honestly. Uh, only one little incident, Keegan stepped on a nail, uh, but we learned our lesson there. We got some boots better on boots on. The old yeah. Nikes. yeah, take the Nikes off, so we're good. Hope you guys liked it. It's always fun to tear stuff up. So, like, subscribe, follow. I'll see you in the next video.